All right, guys, so I wanted to make a really organic, not edited at all video, because I want you guys to see how very stupidly easy this is to get hooked up on a PC. So I'm going to show you how hard it is for me to PC game on my TV. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to unmount the camera here, okay? Okay, we're going to walk over to our PC, right? And we're just going to find ourselves pushing the power button, right? which will then see our PC fire up and turn on and all that good jazz. All right, now with our PC turning on, right? You guys, see it says I buy power, that's the brand of my PC. It's loading up. Now I'm gonna go in the back here, grab my controller, right? Grab my wireless keyboard. I kid you not guys, it's so stupidly easy. Anyone could do this. For those that are wondering, I'm just using a little basic wireless keyboard that comes with a tablet. Nothing complex or crazy, right? Okay, so to do this, all I'm going to do is type in my password here, right? Open up my little setup here, my little PC. It's open. Boom. Right here. Now, in the following steps, because I, I, I have to do this. People say that it's like this super stupid complicated thing and it's really not. Like Steam's updating right now so they're going through their little motions or whatever but my point is after Steam updates I'll show you like exactly how easy it is. I'm not going to cut the video at all. I'm not going to edit the video. I'm literally just going to take it at face value, right? Like it is what it is. You get what you get kind of thing and I'm doing this so that you can kind of understand what I'm saying when I say like dudes like it's not hard. Like People are really, I mean, guys, I watched some videos where they overcomplicate the hell out of, like, literally how to map and configure controllers. Like, it's not that damn complicated. I don't know what the hell these guys are talking about. Now, the only thing I will kind of agree with is that, like, to get a serious PC rig, yeah, it's going to cost you some coin. It'll cost you a pretty amount of coin. But at, at the end of the day, in the long run, it's a lot more affordable than console, just off of what I've been able to do on my own, like, right now, just getting into it. Now... This is taking an enormously annoying amount of time. It'll take however long it takes. Still not going to edit the video or anything like that because you guys need an organic video like this. So in the event that Steam, which by the way, this is like the first time Steam has ever really taken this long to update or anything like that. In the event that that does happen, you'll just be sitting there waiting for it to upload. So that's, I'm showing you the, the exact process. I mean, it's, this is exactly what you're going to be dealing with, which I haven't actually dealt with this. This is my first time really dealing with this, but uh, we're just waiting right now. Waiting's never fun, but you guys, have, it has to happen. It has to happen. Now, in terms of games and stuff like that, I've really been just like going on, uh, if you, for those who are wondering where you buy games from, uh, G2A is a wonderful place I've recently gotten into to buy Steam keys for Steam. Fantastic, couldn't recommend it enough. You get really low prices, better than Steam year round until they start the Steam sales. So I would recommend you go to G2A until you get into like, obviously summer sales, winter sales, then you come right back over to Steam and then you pay pennies on the dollar for the same games. So that, that is what I'll say there. Though I will point out uh, Steam's return policy will exclude you from being able to return those Steam keys because you bought it from a third party. So just be mindful of that. Um, even though it's on the Steam platform, you can't return those types of games uh, if you have any problems. And uh, Steam has the best return policy of any video game company ever. Uh, you can return any game for any reason so long as you're under two hours of gameplay. So that's really damn good. No console gamer will get that benefit, period. And I don't think that's being talked about enough. And that's one of the big reasons to switch from console to PC because how many of us has bought, have bought a game that is broken unplayable or just a total piece of shit, right? And we were thinking to ourselves, I want to return this thing, right? And you can't. So enough rattling and rambling on now that the Steam application has been opened up. We're going to open up any old game, right? Let's open up Arkham City, right? We're going to, oh, I have to show you this. Okay, controller's off right now. So I just have to turn on my Xbox controller, Xbox One S controller to show you how long it'll take to pair up. That's literally how long it takes to pair, right? And then Steam tells you you're using a controller and to use a controller, you should use the big mode if you want to access using the controller and all that like that. Uh, I could run big mode, but I'm probably not gonna. Big mode is pretty sweet, the, you know, big picture mode. Um, but 
I don't really care to use it right now. I don't think it's necessary. So I'm just loading it up and we're just waiting. It says launching. Sometimes it pops up in a window at the bottom here. So you just have to look and see, but it didn't. So I'll, I'll hit cancel launching because I think it botched something. Getting that notification, yeah, because I'm supposed to get my play and config options and then go through all that. But I've already configured it, so I don't have to do all that. But you can also do it in game, so don't worry, right? And it's gonna launch your game. This is literally, I'm not even kidding, this is how hard it is to play on PC. This is, this is the difficulty level we're talking about when people go, it's harder. It's not plug and play. Did I have to unscrew anything? Did I have to hook up GPUs? Did I have to configure a GPU? Did I have to go through all this other nonsense? No, I didn't. I literally just loaded up my damn game. Like, it's that simple, guys. It's literally that simple. Sometimes the most difficult and inconvenient part is you'll see how you still have a mouse on the screen. Sometimes in some games you just have to lower the mouse and that's it because otherwise it'll just stay there throughout the game and it'll be really annoying. That, that's literally it. That's the only issue that I have. Now, you can go in after you're done setting all that stuff up. You can go into your game options, right? And you can try to change some things around. Some games give you graphic options and you can go in and adjust the graphics off of that. You can go continue playing the story mode and you're literally in your game, dudes. Like, it, it's people are imagining, like, if I didn't have to wait for Steam to update, I would have been in and out a lot faster, right? Like a load faster, right? All right, so now we just go up to the roof and do whatever, dude. Look at that, we're in our game. We're just in our game, flying around. Look at us, I'm a little Batman flying around with beautiful frame rates. That's it, guys, that's how hard it is to game on PC. So I just wanted to show you guys that just for kind of like, I don't know, anyone who's wondering, because it, it's being blown up as this like really complicated Batman level thing that you need to learn how to do, and it's not. It truly is not. Look at this. Look at this guy. He's clueless. I could do a silent takedown, but I'm not gonna because I'm that kind of guy. I'm just gonna beat him up because fuck him. That's why. Fuck him. We don't need him around. He's excess population. He's scum of the earth. He's a criminal. We don't need him around. Beat him up. Batman style. So there you go, guys. That's gaming on PC. This is gaming on PC. This is what it really is like. You don't have to tinker with any GPU settings. You can if you choose to. I do because I like to, but you don't have to. Steam comes with pre-configured controller options baked in. You can do everything you've got to do. It's not difficult. That being said, I want to thank you guys for watching the number one brand in honesty. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later.